Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reapos Vox, and I'm really excited to bring you this new OBS multi-platform tutorial because this is a setting that people, including myself, have been looking forward to for a very long time. Now this is going to be a bit more complicated, so hopefully you know what you're looking for in this tutorial. If you're looking for other OBS tutorials, then check out the playlist link in the description below. I do apologize, this is now the fifth video within an hour that I've recorded, so my voice is getting kind of funky. I'm going to take a break after this one and try to cool it off for a minute. But this video is covering how to set up multiple track audio recording in OBS. This is something that you can do in a program called DXTory, as well as newer versions of the Elgato game capture software, in that you can record your game sound, your microphone sound, your chat sound, etc. to different audio tracks to later edit in your video editing software and audio editing software so you can balance them on your own later without having to turn down your game sound so that you can't hear it and that way you can add processing to your microphone audio and things like that. This video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying by hiding it behind a bear. TunnelBear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work via a small monthly contribution to help us build bigger and better projects, content, and collaborations, and they receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Check the description or YouTube card now to check it out. Until this new version of OBS, this has been impossible to do in OBS, but now we can do it right here. So in the previous video, I covered how to set up multiple audio devices. Please check that out for a more in-depth look. But if you go to your audio settings, you actually, you actually have multiple audio devices set up here. You can have your multiple desktop audio devices. So you can set up a one for your chat, for your Skype chat, and one for your game sound. And then you can have multiple microphones as well, just in case you want multiple microphone inputs for whatever reason. This can be very useful for capture cards as well. Well, it turns out the native MP4 video codec in, o in OBS Studio actually supports multiple audio tracks. Now to access that, go to your output settings and go to the advanced tab. And so you're going to want to be careful because this does get very well advanced. However, you can really start setting up something really cool with this. So we're going to ignore the streaming settings because we're not worrying about streaming. This only works with recording. Streaming, you can, of course, only output one audio track because that's all your audience is going to hear. But with recording the MP4 file, you can actually tell it which audio tracks you want recorded. And it's going to record to separate audio tracks. So we're going to record audio track one, two, three, and four. And it's going to tell you right now that certain formats, such as FLV, don't support this. At the moment, only the native MP4 format does support it. Big shout out to my friend Sir Crust who pointed this feature out to me. I honestly passed right over it and somehow didn't even see it before my eyes, which is sad, but it's right here. So by clicking these various checkboxes, you can choose which tracks you want to record. So I'm going to tell it to record one, two, and three because I have three tracks set or three devices set up for three tracks and then click apply. All right, once you've set up your audio settings here, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your mixer settings. So click the gear next to mixer and see all of these check boxes for your audio tracks. You're gonna to wanna to play with those. So for track one, that should just be your default live streaming track. So all of those video or all of those audio files should be going to track one for your live stream. But for your recording, then you can separate them out. So track two will only be game audio. Track three will only be Skype audio. Track four will only be microphone audio. So play with what checkboxes you have enabled and you will get different results for your different audio tracks. So with this configuration right here, they're all going to track one for the live stream. Then two, three, and four are all separate audio devices. And then you can check back in your audio or in your output settings and your recording and have all four unchecked and that's what it's going to record. And see if we play a video here, then this is what it's going to sound like with me trying to talk over it. Well here, we're going to play a video back while I'm talking. Now we're playing the video while I'm talking. And pause. Okay. Okay, now to show an example of how this works, I have my recorded MP4 here that I recorded with the new OBS Studio. It's just given a random name here. I'm going to open it up in VLC Player. If I right click the video and go to Audio and Audio Track, it has all four tracks here. So this one has the mixed down one. This down has game sound, this one has my microphone sound, etc. 
and it has the audio tracks there. Now to show this as an example in your video editor, I've opened up Adobe Premiere Pro here. Now if I drag in this MP4 file that I recorded, you'll see here that it has multiple audio tracks. Boom. Right there. And you can see it has different stuff for those audio tracks. So one has the audio mix, one has my microphone, etc. It's really freaking cool. I love it. Now, if this does not appear to be working for my version of Vegas Pro. However, I'm working on Vegas Pro 11. This may be working in newer versions of Vegas Pro as they're on like Vegas Pro 13 now. I just usually use Vegas Pro 11 because it's more stable. However, here in Vegas Pro 11, it doesn't actually detect any audio at all. That may be a problem on my end and it might work for you on newer versions of the software. For other different versions of video editing software, I'm not entirely sure uh, what your result will be, but know that the tracks are there. But here with Adobe Premiere Pro, we have all the audio tracks and then we can unlink them and start editing them individually in Audition. So it is a feature for more advanced users that does exist. Here, we're gonna play a video back while I'm talking. What year is it? the video while I'm talking. Be gone. See how interesting that is? You could do this for anything. Let's go check it out. And pause. Here, we're gonna play a video back while I'm talking. Now we're playing the video while I'm talking. Be gone. See how interesting that is? You could do this for anything. Let's go check it out. And pause. And the result that you should be able to hear is that I was able to balance it and play with the different audio levels separate. And that's really freaking cool. So, just to go over one more time to explain what the possibilities of this actually means. This means you're going to have separate audio tracks, separate audio files essentially within your video file for your different audio devices. So your desktop audio, which is going to be your game sound or things you're playing on your computer, your microphone, and then any other secondary audio such as Skype or TeamSpeak chat can all be balanced in your video editor separately. So then you can add processing to your audio, you can add processing to Skype TeamSpeak audio, and you can balance it separately to your actual, uh, I'm going to turn this off now, your actual game and other audio. So it makes things so much easier for editing. So I do hope this video was helpful to you. It was freaking mind blowing for me. And otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. Uh, check out our Patreon campaign, all that jazz, you know the drill. Check out all the links in the description below. Also, be sure to follow us over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eposvox. That link will be in the description below. We've been picking up more streams, and once we finish our final move here, we're moving to an apartment. We're going to be streaming a ton, so be sure to follow us over on Twitch. And feel free to request whatever game you'd like to see. If you want to see us stream a game, we may very well stream it. Be sure to request it as well. And I'll see you in a future video. Man, my voice really is getting tired at this point. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.